Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Miracle tonight. Power manifestation tonight. Healing. Deliverance. Salvation. Freedom. For. For. Be it confirmed in your life in Jesus' name. Everyone online, today is a special day. Day of great faith and day of great manifestation. Those who are here, those who are there, everywhere, the power of the Lord is coming upon your life today. Father, well, thank you today and bless your name. Thank you for what you have been doing. Thank you for what you will do here tonight and everywhere tonight in Jesus' name. Confirm your word of power, your word of promise, and your word of prophecy in every life here tonight there tonight, everywhere tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. We'll be talking about the Lamb. That's the Lamb that takes the sin, the sickness, the affliction, the disease, everything that bothers us, the Lamb of God that taketh everything away. And tonight, once again, we're talking about that Lamb, the Lamb for your freedom, the Lamb for your salvation, the Lamb for your deliverance, and the, the Lamb for your total supernatural freedom. I'm reading from Revelation chapter 5, and we're looking at verse 5. Revelation chapter 5, reading from verse 5. And one of the elders says unto me, Weep not. John had been on the other side. He was lifted up to the glory above. And then there was a book that had been sealed that ought to be opened. And they looked on earth, and they looked at every generation that had ever lived on the face of the earth. The Lord looked at the whole universe, somebody, to open the seals of that book. Because it's the book of our eternal redemption. And the book that contains the power, manifestation of the Lord for everyone in the universe. And no one was found to open that book and open and release all the blessings in the book to humanity. Because of that, John, representing the church there, representing the old world there watching the revelation because there was no one to open that book of eternal redemption John wept a symbol of the weeping that we have all been going through then one of the elders said unto him weep not and that is coming to you today the Lord is saying Weep not. All your tears are dried. Because behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David has prevailed to open the book. And because now he has prevailed to open the book. There is redemption for the earth. There is redemption for the world. There is redemption to every generation. And there is redemption for you there tonight. All your chains are broken tonight. Weep not. Your problems are solved. Weep not. Salvation has come. Weep not. Redemption has come. Because he has prevailed 
to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Look at verse 6. In verse 6 it says, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, the living creatures, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as each if it had been slain, having seven hands, perfect power, and seven eyes, perfect knowledge, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And then he tells us in verse 9, it says, And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy. Lamb, thou art Arch worthy, the lion of the tribe of Judah, thou art worthy, our eternal redeemer, thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou was slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people. And nation, then in verse 10, it says, And has made us unto our God kings and priests. You will reign. Over your problems, you will reign. Over everything that clamped you down in the past, today, because the Redeemer, the eternal Redeemer, has come to give us eternal redemption you will reign and we shall reign on the earth we shall reign on the earth as God brings us out of captivity even tonight and it sets us up as princes that will reign and reign over every challenge on earth will keep on reigning I'll keep on raining. We'll keep on raining. And then when we get to the other side, forever, 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 we will reign in Jesus' name. Sin will not reign over you. Sickness will not reign over you. Evil spirit will not reign over you. Demons will not reign over you. Curse, the curse of the world and the curse of the enemy will not reign over you. All those curses, all those evil things coming to you from tonight, there is a wall of demarcation between you and the curse, between you and the evil. Instead of they reigning over your life, you will reign over them. Why? Because we have eternal redemption. Look at Hebrews chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 12. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood. He entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Having obtained eternal redemption for you, for me, for him, for her, for them, for us all. And that's why the Lord is bringing to you today that redemption. That begins in your life if you have not experienced it before, and it will go on and on and on. I see the Spirit, the hand of the Almighty God, untying all the knots in your life, removing all those properties of the devil on your soul, on your spirit, on your body. I see that, and I see all the things that tied your leg. All the things that blindfolded your eyes, all the things that deafened you, all the things that made you 
impotent and powerless. I see that mighty hand spiritually is untying you tonight. And I see that as we mention the name of Jesus, you are free. I am free. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the universal lamb for our eternal redemption. Universal, universal. That means everywhere, everywhere, every place, every community, anywhere you are, anywhere you are standing there, anywhere you are sitting there, the universal lamb has brought eternal redemption for you. I believe, you believe, everything will be cleared from your life, even tonight, in Jesus' name. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, number one, our redemption by the Lamb for the Father. Our redemption for the Father by the Lamb. Our redemption by the Lamb for the Father. He redeems us for the Father so that we can now come into the family of God because our redemption has been done by the Lamb. Number two, the revelation through the Lamb for our fullness. The Lamb, the light that shines and it gives us the revelation for our fullness. Number three, the reign of the lion for our freedom. Look at number one. Number one, we're looking at our redemption by the lamb for the father. We've read Revelation chapter 5 already that he gives us redemption. He gives us salvation. He gives us healing. He gives us total everlasting eternal redemption let's look at uh, second corinthians chapter 5 verse 19 in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 19 it says to which that means that is to say that is to say it's talking about our reconciliation and it says that is to say it's talking about the sacrifice of christ unless you miss it he said to which that is to say god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself reconciling the world unto himself god is the giver of life and we had been separated from god the giver of life god is the sustainer of life and we had been separated from the sustainer of life god is the joy of all creation and we had been separated from the joy of the creator god is the support god is the shepherd god is the caretaker of everything that lives and you had been separated from him but then he said god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself can i explain that to you look at god high holy mighty powerful creative and it's all there by himself and you because you are you are being a sinner all have sinned and come short of the glory of god come short of the glory of god come short of the glory of god now we are of different heights and of different stature somebody is of average height he raises up his hand it cannot touch heaven because God is in heaven and we come short of the glory of God somebody is now a little bit taller taller than that average person and a taller person raises up his hand and his hand cannot touch heaven and we look at all the people on earth 
tall, tall, tall. I've never seen a person as tall as this before, and yet as tall as he is, he raises up his hand, he cannot reach heaven no matter how tall you are there are people they have the support of morality they have the support of religion they have the support of sacrifices and it makes them taller than the other people that one is not religious a short that one is religious is a little bit taller that one is philanthropic and he gives money to people all the money he gives to people will put a little a, a little support under his foot and he raises his hand and all that can still not touch heaven because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and then Jesus Christ comes he says you are not tall enough you can never be tall enough to reach heaven and so he holds your hand and he is the one that bridges the earth and the heavens that he on earth will say my father that sent me is always with me and he's as tall as heaven and he reaches heaven every time and the connection between you short man tall man great man rich man wealthy man the connection between christ and you he holds your hand he holds the hand of god that's the way you reach heaven that's the way you are tall enough to be able to reach the god of all mercy and the God of all power and the one that is the very author and the sustainer of eternal life that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them why because Jesus bore it all and then through him all the sins all the transgression all the iniquity that made you come short of the glory of god everything is taken away and he has committed that word of reconciliation unto us and tonight i come to tell you that christ the lamb of god has come he will make you to touch the hand of god it'll make you to reach heaven it will reconcile you unto the father because it's the only link between humanity and the heavenly father our redemption by the lamb for the father that redemption has come to you now where am i where are you there as you touch Christ tonight, he touches the hand of man. And then he touches the hand of God. And he links you together. And now all the walls of partition between you and God, they are broken down. Reconciliation tonight. I said reconciliation tonight. And redemption tonight. He is the one that has paid the price for you your life will not remain the same again look at this look at this in first corinthians chapter 6 and i'm reading from verse 19 what know ye not know ye not know ye not there are things people don't know there are things they know the things you know cannot take you to redemption i know that two plus three is equal to five great knowledge but that cannot take you to that redemption the things we know that we pride ourselves in i know the population of our country 
good, good for you. But knowing the population of your country, that cannot take you to heaven. That knowledge is good. I know all the science they teach in our schools, good for you. There are things you know that will never lead you to heaven. But there's one thing you ought to know. And it says, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which ye have of God and ye are not your own you know whatever you know whatever knowledge you have whatever educational institution you have gone to even if you carry encyclopedia on your head and you know all that without knowing the Redeemer you have not known what will take you to the everlasting joy of heaven there are people who say I don't have time for God I don't have time for church because all that time I will spend in the church I need to read I need to I understand I understand but all that knowledge you get by all that reading you're doing but all the studies you are doing but all the internet studies you have all that will not link you to the eternal but the knowledge you have about the lamb about the redeemer about how you'll be reconciled unto god that is the knowledge that will give you eternal everlasting abode in the kingdom of god in heaven then he says in verse 20 it says in verse 20 for ye have bought with a price you didn't know that yeah bought with a price you can have all the knowledge in the world all the knowledge in the encyclopedia and you don't know you are bought with a price you're in slavery you're in captivity you're stealing your sin and when eventually you die and then all the encyclopedia that you have studied made you have a big head but a small heart because you didn't know the redeemer and then you are buried and your encyclopedia and your head is buried with you and you appear on the other side then you're trying to find your way but you didn't know the savior you didn't know the redeemer and that and that alone is what gives us eternal redemption eternal reconciliation with god there was the use of that kind of knowledge but the knowledge you have today that the lamb died for me the knowledge you have today that jesus is my savior the knowledge you have today that it is christ and christ alone that there's no other person in the whole universe that can lick you up with the almighty god and then you know he paid the price it says for ye are bought with a price therefore glorify god in your body and your spirit which are god's i praise god that you are here tonight that you are hearing all this tonight and now you know the most important thing and you have the greatest knowledge that will serve you here on earth and serve you all through eternity that the lamb of god christ has paid the price for you now redemption has come to you reconciliation has come to you and now god is going to take special interest in your life look at isaiah chapter 43 and i'm reading from verse 21 isaiah chapter 43 verse 21 these people these people have i formed for myself these people they'll not be for satan you will not be for satan these people they'll not be for rituals you'll not be for rituals these people have i formed for myself they shall show forth my praise the praise of god will occupy your life Amen. occupy your mind because he has redeemed you 
And now you can praise him. Like those saints are praising him in heaven. That praise of God to him belongs salvation and redemption and reconciliation and blessing. And he has saved us and washed us from our sins. And we shall reign with him forever and ever. I say amen in your life. Number two now, number two is the revelation through his lamp for our fullness. The revelation through the light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Is the lamb, is the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the most powerful that breaks every yoke and destroys every work of the devil and is the lamb the lamb for sacrifice that was sacrificed for your sin for my sin for everybody's sin and is the lamb the light of the world is the one that shines the light on our pathway and as it shines the light on your pathway all darkness will vanish away from your life. All darkness will get away from you and then you will know that the Lamb has now come, the light has now come to my life. And that light will shine in your life today in Jesus' name. Look at Psalm 119. I'm reading from verse 105. Psalm 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamb unto my feet and a light unto my path. Where could you be? As you are walking and there's no light. Everything is dark. The soul dark. The spirit dark. The mind dark. The sight dark. And there are so many pitfalls every day in every way before every person. That's why we human beings, because we didn't have the light of his revelation. We're trying to walk in darkness and you fell into that. And then you got up and then you're still walking, you fell into that you got up you are falling every time but now thy revelation thy knowledge thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light on to my path and the light of God from today the light of the world Jesus as you receive him he will guide you through life all those things that you have been falling and rising and falling and rising and falling and rising and you've injured yourself so much the mark of the fall is on your forehead the mark of the fall is on your lips the mark of the fall is on the body the mark of the fall is in your soul the mark of the fall is in your spirit what does that say you see somebody having epilepsy fall this time you see the mark on the face and then falls another time you see the mark on the hands and everyone on earth that does not have redemp the redemption and the lamp and the light has been falling and falling and falling and so you see the mark of that on their tongue the mark of the fall on their lips, the mark of the fall on their thoughts, the mark of the fall in their sicknesses, the mark of the fall everywhere. But now, light has come. I say, light has come. And where we used to fall before, now I fall no more. You, I fall no more. Say it for yourself. I fall no more. I have the revelation. I have the light. I have the knowledge. I see that trap there. I see that a rabbit. The rabbit did not know there's any danger there. All the rabbit can see is the bait. All the fish can see. The fish cannot see the hook. All they can see is the bait. That 
is sweet and then went for that and is falling into danger because the people that do not see all they see all they see is the sweetness there there's pleasure there there's excitement there all they see there's celebration there and the hook of the devil behind the bait they cannot see but now I can see now now I can see that sight will never be taken away from you. Now, look at Proverbs chapter 4, Proverbs chapter 4, and I'm reading to you from verse 18. Proverbs chapter 4, and we're looking at verse 18. It says, But the past of the just is a shining and a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day unto the perfect day and then in verse 20 it says in verse 20 my son attend to my words attend to my revelation incline thine ear unto my says why look at verse 21 in verse 21 let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart look at what that word what that light what that lamb what that knowledge will do in your life in verse 22 in verse 22 it says for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh and health to all their flesh when you accept the light of truth the revelation of the truth of god the lamp and the light into your life every part of your body will experience healing and health and tonight healing and health my brother there, my sister there, my boy, my girl, my daughter there, healing and health coming your way. You know, I mean, well, I shouldn't say I'm surprised because I know God is the God of all flesh. The testimonies that are happening and yours will join tonight. Me. Me. me like all these testimonies i'm hearing i'm going to give my own testimony <laughs> where are you there i said where are you there it's coming your way in jesus name now 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 listen to this there was what who we call a little prince and this little prince, he was in coma. It's like everything is gone. The doctor said, it's been in coma for such a long time. Life is gone. It's like life will never come back. But no matter where you are tonight, and no matter what the final word on earth has been, life will come back. And to this, the parents now joined him and they confirmed the testimony that although life was gone, life has now come back. Let, let, let them talk to you by themselves, please. Let us know what really happened and God brought this child back from coma, even from death. My son that was dead after four days through the prayer of the man of God, he turned back to life. Glory be to God. My name is Okun Buffett. I'm here with my son, Prince Wirokun, the only son in the family. And he fell down on 14 of August, 2022, inside the room. And after some days, he complained of pains and we rushed him to the hospital and after all medical examination, the test and the scan and they told us that there was internal breathing inside and as a result of that caused infection. 
which actually collapsed all the major organs. And then it was at the state of coma, and then there was no hope. And the doctors lose the hope and give us no hope. But we have hope in God. On that day, when I looked my son on a sick bed, and the doctor said, no hope, I was like, how can it happen? When I asked God for this child, and God gave him to me, he did not give me a dead child, neither a sick child, but he gave me a, li a live child. And I saw him in that condition. I was like, can it be? But I give glory to Almighty God, who brought Prince Will from the wall of death to the wall of life. On 25th, that was the first day of GCK in Ondo State. And at the time the pastor uh, came up and we took the phone to the side of the bed close to his ear. And after the final amen from the, from the, from the man of God, after the final amen, you will check up to see that God has done it. And I went back to take the phone and I saw the legs was moving, was moving, was moving. And I left. Then on 26, that was on Friday morning, by 10 a.m., and the doctor called on us that something beyond medical sign happened. And we rushed to the ICU. At that point, B.O., B.O., Prince Will return back to life. And all the organs return back in a good shape and function. And then we give God the glory that my son that was dead after four days through the prayer of the man of God, my son returned back to life. Glory be to God. I thank God I'm alive and I'm with my family. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When the Lamb of God, Christ, our Redeemer, comes in your life, everything will come back to life. Now, I'm going to, we're going to now see another person, a woman, this time, Mrs. Ifonaya. How she was divinely operated by the mighty hand of God. I won't tell you the story. The story will be sweeter in her mouth. Mrs. Ifonaya, now you have the chance. Tell us your testimony. I want to thank God that God did operation with that knife, with that hospital because of your prayer. My name is Ifnaya. Missif Naya Uzu. I want to thank God from the program that Pastor Kumuni did. When I pregnant, two or three months, I will have miscarriage. So I went to the scan. The scan confirmed that I have a fibroid. So when I, I visit the global crusade, they have for Molo, six days crusade. So I attend the crusade. And when Pastor Kumuni is praying, any sickness, any disease, whatever the name, from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. After the program, I go outside to ease myself. So, what I saw just, just something just do kill from my body. When I look at it down, I saw one big thing. That thing you are seeing there is the fiber. God did the operation with that no knife, no hospital. When I go back to the scan, they confirm that there is no fiber again. So that's why I want to thank God for what you did to me. Praise the Lord. Now the fiber is not there again. I'll have my own baby now. I will take my baby to the church and rejoice 
and I will thank God for what the Lord done for me. Praise the Lord. If you know your time has come, I said praise the Lord. Because this word, this revelation about Christ, about a redeemer, about the one that paid for our eternal redemption, it will bring health to all your flesh. Hey, look at look at this Ephesians chapter 3 and I'm reading from verse 20 Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 now unto him that is able tonight God is able in your life God is able on your wife on your husband God is able on your children God is able to take away and to remove that evil sin, the deposit of the devil. Tonight, God is able to remove everything in Jesus' name. Now, tonight, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that were asked or seek according to the power that walketh in us. Tonight, this power will walk inside you. Inside your brain. Inside your eyes. Inside your lungs. Inside your kidneys. Inside your bone. This power will work inside you tonight in Jesus' name. Look at number three there. Number three, the rain of the lion for our freedom. The reign of the lion. That means the authority. That means the dominion. I want you to picture something. Look at a lion there. And look at all the children and all the, all the offspring of the lion. And they are all behind him. And the lion is there in front of them. And remember, the lion is the king of the forest. And now... There is, uh, you know, a, an animal, another animal, and he wants to get any of those um, little, little lions behind their parent lion. And she is coming. Then the lion in front, the king of the forest, knowing that this other animal is coming to get any of the other little, little, little lions. Can that happen? That lion will spring on that animal coming and that animal wanting to injure any of those other little, little lions. That little thing is gone. What I'm seeing is Christ, the lion of the tribe of Judah and you. As you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are the little lion there behind the big universal lion. And then there is a reptile coming, there is the devil coming, there is another, you know, kind of, and says, I will take that one pointing to you. Never. I said never. It will never happen again. Satan will not touch you again. All those demons will not touch you again. Because the lion of the tribe of Judah has assured you of your freedom, total freedom tonight. Now you are free to move about anywhere you go. You are the king's kid. And the mark of the Lord is upon your life. And no evil will happen to you anymore. Me. No evil will happen to me. Anymore. The lamb 
that is the lion is so happy for you that now you are believing totally completely on him who had paid the price for your redemption i'm looking at i'm looking at uh, romans chapter 8 and i'm reading from verse 37 romans chapter 8 we're looking at verse 37 nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us we 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 are more than conquerors the people that put their faith in christ and they say i put my faith in the lamb i put my faith in the lion of the tribe of judah now you will reign over every problem of your life. Look at First John chapter 4. And I'm reading there from verse 4. First John chapter 4. We're looking at verse 4. It says, ye are of God, little children, born again children, saved children, forgiven children, reconciled children, redeemed children, ye of God, little children, and have overcome them. Your night for the overcomer has now come. Overcome them, them from the sea, them from the forest, them all those bush spirits them from the jungle them from the pit and them from the pit of occultism now i have overcome them them from the enemy camp now you have overcome them them throwing disease at people now you have overcome them them that is throwing poverty and sickness and evil upon people now you have overcome them them that come in the dream and they point the finger to you like this and they say you will be blind you will not see anything anymore thank god now you have overcome them overcomers 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 it says ye of god when you give your life to christ when he reconciles you with god when your sins are forgiven when all those things are wiped wiped out he says now ye are of God. You don't belong to the cult anymore, you come out. You don't belong to darkness anymore, you come out. And he says, Now ye are of God, little children, and you have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Are you didn't say amen to that one? He that is in you. Who is that? The lion of the tribe of Judah. Real lion, real lion that will break the bone of any fake lion. Now, the devil is pretending to be a lion too, but is just fake lion. And he's going about, he's looking for who he will devour. But you are not one of them anymore. Because the lion, the real one, abides in you. And the devil has failed. And the devil will fail. And the devil will continue to fail. And anywhere you are now, you are brother untouchable. Sister untouchable. Mr. Unconquerable. Mrs. or Miss unbeatable because now Christ dwells inside you every other power they are destroyed in Jesus name and if you want to be counted as one of the people that now the enemy the devil the fake lion of the world cannot touch you anymore 
you give your heart your life to Christ and you have assurance that no matter what happens you are reign with Christ it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed you don't want to miss this privilege to be of God remember no matter how tall you are no matter what money how money wealth popularity has made you tall all have sinned and come short of the glory of God you cannot touch heaven by anything you have done but Christ is the one that is the Lamb of God that makes sacrifice for everyone and now he holds your hand he holds the hand of the holy God of heaven and he brings you up to touch heaven he is the one that will make you spiritually tall enough to be able to reach his glory and now you want to give your heart to Christ so that the Lord Jesus the Lamb of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah will link you up with God, reconcile you with God and bring your hand and the hand of God together reconciled. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. You say, I want the Lamb of God to take my sins away. I want him to reign inside me in my heart. I want him to reign in every area of my life. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Yes, there. God bless you. God bless you there. Anywhere you are, radio, television, any congregation, in any country where you are, this is your chance. You are not tall enough by yourself to touch heaven. But Christ wants to take you now and link you up with heaven. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. The light of redemption has come. And I take that light right now. Rise up there, rise up there and say, Lord, I give myself to you. I turn away from all my sin, from all my transgression. And now I put my hand in the hand of Jesus to link me up, to reconcile me, and to join my hand by the hand of the Almighty God. Keep on standing there. Keep on standing there. I'm going to pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bring all these people who are standing up and they realize the work of their hand, the effort of their life, and their self-righteousness, and their religious righteousness cannot make them to touch heaven, but only Christ can be the one that reconciles everyone to God. I pray, Lord, receive all of them in Jesus' name. Hold the hand of everyone and bring them to the Almighty God right now in Jesus' name. And I pray, O oh Lord, all their sins be forgiven. All their guilt be taken away. All condemnation be taken away. And I pray your eternal redemption will come to every one of them right now. Confirm it and write their names in the book of life. And let the greater one abide and stay in them right now. And make them victorious from now to the end of their lives. Thank you, Lord. We know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. I said, it is done. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. We we'll turn it over to a moderating overseer tonight so that we deal with this. And then after that, I'm going to come back and pray and miracles and healings and deliverances tonight for everyone in Jesus' name. Praise God. Tonight, you have redeemed by the Lamb.
keep standing, keep standing. Our converse data collectors, could you go in now? Don't preach, don't preach. Just take their the names, their phone numbers, their addresses, and that's it. Make sure you are writing legibly, capital letters if possible. Please be fast about it. Don't be in a hurry or the same. That's why the pastor came to Bori. So be patient with them, and yet you don't waste time, but you are thorough. You are thorough. Those that, that, that were trained to do this going now, look at those outside the fence. Send some counselors outside the, the fence, left and right, quickly. Do the same thing, those outside the Afro location. Are you in Africa? Are you in the south, southeast, southwest, northeast, northwest, all over Nigeria, Africa, Europe, wherever you are now, please. The same thing you would do to capture the converts. Quickly, quickly. Those far behind at the gates by the fence, many, many are there outside. Are you seeing them now? Let's go there now. Don't miss anybody. Please go ahead. Is their life? Is their future? Is eternal things? So don't, don't delay that. Look at them outside the gates. Look at them behind, down, down there. Be patient with them, but yet you are thorough. You are thorough. Check up the digits of their phone numbers. No mistake. Don't preach. Don't preach. Don't preach. Just their names, the phone numbers, the addresses if possible. Quickly, quickly. All those outside the Alpha location, what they're doing here now is what you do there. It's a global thing, so you don't miss anybody. Please keep standing until you are captured. They come to you. It will help you. It's for your, it's for your interest. It's for your interest that you give accurate data to keep you. I'm sure the pastor will pray for you. The church will come after you. Then tomorrow by 3 p.m. you'll be here also to join others for a luncheon. I'm sure you have your physical lunch also here tomorrow by 3 p.m. Quickly, quickly, quickly. But then thorough. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry so you don't miss out the, the, the phone number. If you miss the phone number, we have lost them. Quickly, quickly. Some far away, I'm saying that those outside the gates who repented, let's go after them. Region of Asias, group pastors, or workers, choristers, do that now quickly. That's why the pastor came to Bori, sacrificially. Be thorough, be fast, and yet you are careful. You can write legibly, go to a language, language location there, Kana or Gokana or Igbo, they are there in their location. Go there also to capture them, to get them. Don't preach. We're not preaching now. They're free from sin already. So just get their data, their names, their phone number, their addresses, that's it. And write legibly using capital letters. So don't miss them out. I'm sure tonight they'll receive SMS. Tonight, they'll receive SMS telling them what to do. There'll be a package for them from the, from the, uh, from the convener on the 6th here in Bori and all the Alpha locations. What they're doing here now, south, south, southeast, southwest, northeast, northwest, north central, those in African country, the same thing we are doing now. It's a global thing. GCK, October edition, Bori Life. Quickly. Be fast, be fast. Those that are already done, you will sit down and ask God, look at me, I'm here. I have a challenge. And then have faith in God. And the pastor will come tonight. Like I said, he won't touch you. 
but he will just send the word to you. Send miracle to you there, and you will receive miracle tonight. So be praying now, those who are done, be praying now, waiting for the miracle prayer from the pastor. Go down, 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 down the gates. Look at outside the gate also. Those standing on, on the fence there, the souls, the eternal souls, don't miss them. Go to language classes there, Kana, Gokana, and um, Goni languages there. Igbo may be there also. LMA may be there. So you go and check up. Check up. Check up. Get them properly. Don't be careless. Be careful. That's why the pastor took risk. Sacrificial to be here in Bori. They'll be fast. Fast. I'm waiting for you now to get set. When you are set, you indicate. Not just your hand now. I'm sure you have your flag. You have your flag to wave to us to indicate that you are done. And yet, you're not in a hurry. You're meticulous, yet not in a hurry. So don't miss anybody. You miss them, you miss a life. Because we have to cancel them, send messages to them through SMS tonight. Tonight, to guide them what to do next. But then there's a banquet. A banquet on the 6th. Tomorrow, a lunch on here by 3 p.m. Be here with others tomorrow. But then on the 6th, the pastor has a message for you, a book left for you, to guide you in this race to heaven. Then the baptism on the 12th of this of November in our locations. All over, it's a global thing. Sixth for banquet globally, then twelfth baptism, water baptism globally, and send your reports to us. Let's do that quickly. Choristers, and when you are done, stay there. Don't come out. Choristers, don't come out. Cancel us. You will stay there after the prayer and bring them out. Are you hearing me now? When you are done with them, stay with them. And then come out with them. The camera will not just be here. If there's any testimony down, down, camera will go there and capture them down, down there instead of coming here, delaying. Do you hear me, cameraman? Get one mobile camera and, and, and be down, down, down to capture testifiers who so cannot walk down easily to save time. Get them there, down, down by the entrance, by the gate down. I'm sure that's an eye that can enable you to do that. So if you're done, can I see a flag? If you're done by my right, your own left, can I see a flag? So why source those in charge? If you're done, can I see a flag there? Don't come out. Be there with them. Don't come back. Until after the pastor's prayer tonight, then you come out with them for testimony. It's a night, a night, the last but one night. Well, if it's tomorrow by this time, we're we are almost standing up to go. And never to come here again for crusade. So let's be patient with them, be thorough, and then get their data accurately. If you are done, stay there. Are you hearing me? If you are done, stay with them in the middle there. And after the miracle prayer, you come out with them. With them. Camera man, get us a, a mobile camera who will go down, down, down to capture miracle testifiers tonight. If you are hearing me quickly. If you are done, can I see something to, to show that you are done? Down, down there. Can I see a hand or something? A flag? Okay, I'm seeing a flag there. Yes. How about by, by my left, your own right? Yes, I've seen that also. How about outside the gate? Are you done? Outside the gate. Please go there. Language classes, go there also. And Kana or Gokana or element language, go down there. Because there are souls living souls 
don't miss them. So stay there with them. Stay there with them. To bring them out after miracle prayer tonight for testimony. Quickly. About about down, down. I'm not seeing clearly now. Down, down, down. Please. Reading over CS, group pastors. Down, down, down. When you are done, stay there. Stay there. Okay. All right. What are doing here? The same thing you would do in Southeast, in, in Abia, in Enugu, in Akwaibom. The same thing, Cross River. Same thing you would do there now. What are doing here now in, 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 in Egoa? Same thing you would do there in Abuja, in, in Kaduna, in Kanu, all over the world. In America, depending on your timing there. So you don't miss anybody. That's, it's a global thing. Okay, you are, you are done there now. How about by my left? All right. We're almost set now. Stay there with them. Stay there with them. Stay there with them. And stand by to come out with them now for testimony. If you're hearing me now, stay there with them. Region of Asias, group pastors, our workers, be there with them. And you come out with them. The pastor will soon come now for miracle prayer for tonight's miracle prayer. You will see miracle here tonight. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Miracle. Miracle. Power. Demonstration. Assurance. Is coming upon your life right now in Jesus' name. The land of God that taketh away every sin, every sickness, every affliction, every infirmity, every disease is right by your side. And is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He'll break, he'll destroy, he'll shatter every evil sin in your life tonight in Jesus' name. When you hear that name, the name of Jesus, and you hear the final amen, the work will have been done. I see him touching your life tonight. I see him delivering you and relieving you tonight of every work of the devil in your life in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Miracle is coming now. Healing coming now. Deliverance coming now. Resolve that time. Resolve that time. After the prayer, you must check up yourself because tonight, everywhere, there will be miracle. Father, in Jesus' name. Well, thank you, Lord, for the Lamb of God, for the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He has given us eternal redemption. In that redemption, there's healing there. There's deliverance there. There's miracle there. There's provision there. And Lord, I pray that now, everywhere, manifest your power in Jesus' name. Every sickness, whatever the name of the sickness, of the disease, of the pain, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, the God of redemption, the God of power, the God of miracle, come into every life, touch every life, reverse every evil sin in their lives in Jesus name Lord I pray the work of the fake lion going about tormenting lives harassing lives 
bringing causes upon lives i reverse everything he has done in any life and lord i pray healing for everyone deliverance for everyone dominion for everyone those blind eyes be opened right now in jesus name deaf ears dumb tongues be loose right now in jesus name madness insanity come out in jesus name also be healed in jesus name asthma be healed in jesus name cancer cancer be healed right now in jesus name all those evil objects evil spirits walking about in the body i command you come out in jesus name pain at the back at the waist pain inside the bone pain anywhere in the body be healed in jesus name lord i pray that the lameness will vanish away and those broken bows those broken bows hear the word of the lord be mended now be healed in jesus name arthritis you are healed in jesus name elephantiasis those big legs and the ear and the fibroid and the hunchback everything that should not be there i command come out in jesus name lord healing everywhere now miracle everyone now right left back center front online radio television miracles healings deliverances lord your people now will reign over every challenge of their lives confirm it O lord in jesus name we pray it is done it is done it is done your miracle is right there with you together 